Here, question number 52 of gate 2018 civil engineering morning session is discussed. Question is, a RCC beam of rectangular cross section has factored shear force of 200 kN at its critical section. Its width B is 250 mm and effective depth is D is 350 mm. Assume design shear strength tau C of concrete as 0.62 Newton per mm square and maximum allowable shear stress tau C max in concrete as 0.28 Newton per mm square. If two legged 10 mm diameter vertical strips of Fe 250 grade steel are used, then the required spacing in centimeter up to one decimal place as per limit straight method will be. So here options are not available. So student has to solve this particular question properly and then he has to write the proper answer. Now also student has to note that uh, this particular question has a difficulty level or you can say it somewhat difficult because uh, he has to understand what are the given parameters and accordingly he has to solve this particular problem completely. So if we look at the given parameters, so factor shear of force we use 200 kilonewton width of the beam B equals to 250 mm. Effective depth of the beam D equals to 350 mm. Design shear strength of concrete tau C equals to 0 0.62. Diameter of vertical slope 10 mm and grade of steel Fe 250. Now, what is to be find out? So, spacing of vertical stirrups or we can say shear reinforcement. So, SV is to be calculated. So, student has to understand what are the given parameters and accordingly has to find out the unknown. So, we know that from clause number 40 of IS 456 2000 that limits state of collapse of shear is mentioned. Clause number 40.1 which is regarding nominal shear stress and the nominal shear stress in beam of uniform depth shall be obtained by the following equation that is tau V equals to VU but divided by PD. Now VU that is the shear force due to design load B is the breadth of the member which is for flange section shall be taken as breadth of the wave that is BW and small d that is effective depth. So, again we can say from this particular uh, equation, we can simply calculate this tau V that is VU divided by BD, V is already given, B is already given and D is also given. So, we will get this particular stress, nominal shear stress in beam of uniform depth that is in terms of Newton per meter square 2.286 Newton per meter square. So, now we know this uh, already given tau C is 0 0.62 Newton per mm square is already given and tau C max is 0 0.28 Newton per mm square. So we can say that this tau C is greater than tau V and we can say it, it is not safe. But uh, we also know that tau C max is greater than tau V which is okay. So we need shear reinforcement according to clause number 40.4 this which is regarding design of shear reinforcement so if we just look at the shear reinforcement clause and it says that shear reinforcement shall be provided to carry a shear equal to vu minus tau c multiplied by bd so the strength of the shear reinforcement vu is shall be calculated as follows that is for vertical stirrups 0.87 Fy into ASVD divided by SV. So we can calculate VUS that is the strength of the shear reinforcement which is equals to VU minus tau C BD. So V is already given. Tau C we have calculated and then tau C this is 0 0.62. We know we have this given parameter and this multiplied by B multiplied by D will get in terms of kilonewton. Similarly, we can calculate spacing of the particular shear reinforcement. Now, since we use, we have cal calculated now this 0.87 Fy is 250 ASV. So, D we already know there is 350 and ASV. Since 10 mm diameter bar is to be provided, it is two numbers. 
So from here we can simply calculate SV that is pressing of shear reinforcement that is 82.04 mm and now since we wanted 8.2 in centimeter. So spacing which is uh, now again question setter has specified that the calculations should be done in terms of centimeter and that is true again in up to one decimal place. So from here we can say uh, we are getting 8.2 centimeter as our spacing of shear reinforcement. So student has to calculate first of all tau v and then accordingly he has to check this tau c and tau c max for the parameters available. Once, once he get it now he has to calculate shear reinforcement with the particular shear strength or the strength of the shear reinforcement we use that is equals to vu minus tau c bd. Once he get it so we can calculate with this particular formula v u s equals to 0.87 fi s v d divided by s v so spacing he will get it with this particular formula but student has to note that he has to calculate in terms of centimeter that is to only only one decimal place 